It's my first and most pleasant task today to say a few words about someone who means so much to us all, who's enriched our lives, and although I'm biased, uh, who is undoubtedly the star of the show today. Anyway, enough about me. <laughs> when Catherine was about 15, she said to me, Dad, I can sum you up in two words. So I thought, oh, oh good. Top dad, wise man, even good chauffeur would have done. She smiled sweetly at me and said, weak puns. So I thought when I was preparing this speech, how could I sum up my daughter in two words? Many selfies, food lover, karaoke queen. However, eventually I came up with great joy, which is what Catherine has brought us from day one. Kat has been a blessing to us. We believe God's blessing and it's such a proud moment for us to see her marrying Daniel as a young woman of such grace and poise. As for Daniel, it's great to be able to welcome you into our family. Daniel, I'm terribly biased, but for you the two words would be lucky man. <laughs> We've all got to know you well and have every confidence that you will love and cherish Kat and that the two of you will be a blessing and a help to each other. Would everybody please be upstanding for the bridal procession? What an exciting day. Uh, just a warm welcome to everyone here. Uh, what a special event. Uh, so many friends and family members on both sides coming together uh, to rejoice with those who rejoice. And there is no occasion more joyful than a marriage. Will you all now face each other and take each other's hands? <laughs> Daniel, will you repeat after me? I, Daniel, take you, Catherine. I, Daniel, take you, Catherine. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. This I do promise in covenant. This I do promise in covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. Catherine, will you please repeat after me? I, Catherine, take you, Daniel. I, Catherine, take you, Daniel. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward from this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. This I do promise in covenant. This I do promise in covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. According to God's holy word. According to God's holy word. I now declare them to be husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make His face shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you, lift the light of His countenance upon you, and give you peace now and always. Amen. Daniel, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Thank you. 
As a representative of the shipping side of the family, Daniel, welcome to the lion's den. So these are a few notes on love, and I've included a few little moments of Catherine and Daniel in there as well. One, all you need is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love. But if you could give that kitchen counter a wipe, that'd be really appreciated. Two, across the hotel bar table, snug against autumn Harris wind, a furtive look sneaks across her face, rippling the deep amber of her whiskey. The wind outside pauses for breath, just enough for her throat to clear and pause. Suddenly, the words come like a burst of breeze. I, uh, so yeah, I've been sort of gone on a few dates with someone. Uh, he, he seems, don't tell mum, he, he seems, he seems really lovely. Uh, <laughs> Seems really lovely, but she trails off. It's a freebie. Suddenly the gale redoubles itself outside. Eventually she can bear it no longer and lets slip the terrible secret. He seems great, but he loves golf. Three. My love, whenever you need me, I'll drop everything. In fact, sometimes I'll just drop it anyway. Four, at the hilltop grounds of a Roman villa, once draped in imperial finery, on dust dry soil, where sandals once trod at the emperor's whim, a stout Caledonian declares his allegiance and bends the knee. Five, this is an event with no precedent in all the heavy tomes of the law. A prosecutor and a defender have set aside their disputes to rest together. Thank you. Now, I know I'm not the only person in this room who knows that Catherine is the very best friend that anybody could wish for. Catherine is extremely thoughtful and kind, and she will always remember the biggest moments in your life, but she will also remember the small things as well. She's extremely loyal and trustworthy, and she will always be there to support, no matter what. Daniel throws his heart and soul into the things and the people that he loves. Other than the bride and groom themselves, I don't think there's anyone here happier just now than our family to see Daniel get married and for him to be so happy having found Catherine. Catherine, we've all loved getting to know you. You're already a massive part of our family and I'm absolutely thrilled that Daniel's found you. Daniel, I've got no doubt that your love for Catherine will surpass your love for even Andy Murray or even at EastEnders Christmas special. You found your soulmate, your perfect match, and I couldn't be happier for you. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of my beautiful, amazing wife and I, <laughs> I'd like to thank you all for coming to celebrate our big day with us, especially those of you who have traveled from afar to be here today. To my beautiful wife, Catherine. I do remember being impressed by Catherine's confidence right from the start of the first date. Then the chat flowed really well, and I felt a real spark at the end when she looked up at me as we were getting ready to go. Her natural beauty and confidence on food. Catherine, you are everything I was praying for and more. You are so beautiful, caring, humble and so much more. I'm just so happy and grateful that I finally found the woman for me. <laughs> you are my best friend and I'm so pleased to say you are now my wife. I promise to always be there for you, to put you first and to look after you in good times and bad. There will be challenging times to come, but whatever happens, God will be with us and he will be for us. The power of truth, the power of grace, and most importantly, the power of love will sustain us and guide us. I love you so much. I'm so blessed to now be married to you and to now be able to call you my wife. 
Please raise your toast to my wife, Catherine. To Catherine.